Hey, right here. It's welcome all back to what is has high aspirations of being a mega base. Why are you upside down, down under? Um. Oh, I see how it is. Is that better? Better or worse? Oh, you're low on power as well. It's gonna be all low on power. I don't like it when the base goes low on power. To cancel his drinking name? Eh, close enough. I'd just take it as an excuse, wouldn't wouldn't you? Right, I wanna move that and make this a double row. And that'll go there. Do I have any of you? No. Also don't. Why would I have any of those things? Why would I have any of the materials required to actually make steam and the jigs to make more power? I also need to make, I think I'm going to need to make uh, some, yeah, I'm going to need to make some solid fuel. First thing we need is the turbines to actually burn the solid fuel, which is kind of important. And then I need to figure out doing more circuits, uh, which is kind going to be kind of difficult, because if I want to expand this melting down, kind of put all this, this, this crap here in the way. It's kind of in the way. Hey, Eldritch Cat. How you doing? Alright, years. Pie. Probably a little bit too much pipe. Probably entirely too much pipe. Double. Uh, now. Put the storage chest. I can't remember. I can't actually remember now. It's all lights? No, some of them are labs. Yeah. Twenty is about all I can do. So I, I don't think I need any more of them, and I don't definitely don't need them. Can't sleep. We need to get up here. Get up to work in four hours and forty-three minutes. That's remarkably precise. What's oh, gonna be plate? It's probably gonna be plate again. What map settings and mods? Uh, exclamation mark mods uh, for mods. It's only one of them, and map settings is a slightly modified real world. Ah, there we go, we're out of gears. This is bound to happen eventually. To turn the... to the rail world, turn the richness down a little bit. Uh, not that it really makes a difference. What else do we do? I've forgotten. I think I turned cliffs down a little bit too, so they're not as continuous. I think I made the starting area a little bit larger as well. I'm impressed that I managed to go as far as I did without make, uh, messing that up. Yeah, so currently it's just Shred Guys Manly War Cry. So this one's intended to be vanilla, although it, it kind of isn't. On the count of the fact that I've got Shred Guys Manly War Cry on it. But this one's meant to be the, um, So, can put mods in, but no gameplay changing mods. So, Shred, Shred Guys Manly War Cry doesn't change gameplay, so that's safe. Why is that the upside down? Hey, Spellmaster. Some people have a hard time conceiving the, the you know, they've got their, the upside down eyeballs, so they have a hard time picturing me when I'm the right way round. All out. I could arguably get rid of the gap because this thing, uh, yeah, that can actually cover if it was sitting there. But I'm not going to do that because it's it's like effort. Right, there's 
definitely going to be a fuel shortage now. I mean, it would also help if I put a connector pump up. Just minor detail. There we go. Rum runner, come on in. Oh, we're from the same side of the world, but further southeast. Oh, way off in New Zealandy land. Also, more importantly, coffee. Coffee. Now the end. No, oh, the end isn't running out of coal. I suppose because it's not running as hard as it possibly can. It's it's fine. For now. But this is like that's all the coal we got, um, apart from that down there and that down there, which is a bit of a problem. But at least it will become a problem if I don't deal with it soon. A land where everyone wants to come current can't due to border closures. I don't want to hang out with all those flightless birds that you got. Yes, tiny square of coal. Oh yeah. Uh that one there. Can't forget that one tiny square of coal. That's very important, isn't it? Also gonna boost that. There. So that means the miners will all run as hard as they can. Um, just there. That'll make sure they definitely can out output the checkerlate onto the belt. Alright, now solid fuel. Probably gonna need two rows of these things. One for like light oil to solid fuel, one for petroleum gas to solid fuel. You never can get away with just the one. Why don't I make military three as well? Uh, it goes there. We want to prioritize solid fuel. I want pipe. Weep. If I was really smart about this, I would uh, get the bots to lay this down. If I was smart about it. Do it on the close side, the closer side. Ads, yeah. That's true. Bonds can do it next time. It'd be nice if the ads were had a granularity of less than um, thirty seconds. Also coffee. Let's do a little bit of fancy switcherooing. Good relevant time of day to you, Seamus. I knew it was coming. Alright, mining productivity. Uh, what do I want now? Apart from more research speed. I think... Research speed and more damage? I mean, like, I want Mega Base, which means I really just want to unlock everything. But I think I've already done everything. No, oh, I need to start picking up that. But also, when I get coffee, I push the manual ad break button to try and release that. Oh, I don't 
have circuits. That's not handcraft circuits. It was Dooney coffee. Everyone needs coffee. I'd say I'm one of those filthy tea drinking people. Fortunately, things like the sipper mode don't differentiate between coffee or tea, so it could go either way. There we go. That's what I make my so we aiming for. So I want to try and do something that's twice as big as the previous one. Oh, I made. I thought I made one too many. I guess I can make a fourth row. There's a certain loss of efficiency if you keep. Um, I actually don't need that. I do need that. I mean, yeah, you actually see that that one powers down more and more the more you chain them. Part of, partly because long inserter, partly because I don't think I've got the inserter capacity bonus. I need that one to fix that, or at least help it. So yeah, what I want to do with this one is keep it vanilla, so no game-changing mods, and bring it up to something beyond more than what the previous one did. So the previous one was two red belts, or 3,600. I have to think about that, because it used to be 3,200, then the belt speed changed. So I had to make 3,600. And yeah, aim for, I don't know, 7,200 or 8,000? Yeah, it's worth nothing. Mainly because we creators barely get anything out of the cunt. Twitch takes so much. 1001. Sure. Sounds reasonable. And wherever that stupid small pole goes. Oh yeah, uh, this thing, this engine thing's way overbuilt, but eh. Right, the thing's not flashing anymore. That's not flashing. Oh, that's where it was. Uh, alright, what does this rocket silo need? You need flammables. Nagi, hi, sneaky wins workday. Neji. Nagi? Neji? I'm never quite sure. Remember what day it is? Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that, that seems fine. Uh, rocket fuel. See, when in down, just just work towards rocket silo. That, that's the way I go. Hungarian is Nodge, but take anything. Sure, hey, take. I'm doing alright. I didn't grab any engines. I roll. I don't th I think I can. I think I can... Well, my old one, admittedly as inefficient as it was, could do 4,000 just barely at 60 with my PC. So if it was optimised, you could probably get it up to 5 or 6. And yeah, the game would probably drop from, from then on. I wonder if I can get these to output onto another... Uh, no, I can't. Yeah, that's not going to happen. I might have had extend it down here, doing some non robo frame stuff. Yeah, do some non robo frame production just for engines for myself, because I'm going to need quite a few. I'm going to need 200 for rocket silo at the very least. Then I'm going to need a supply for the make everything, and, and yeah. Alright, this is what we call squirrel projects, where you're running backwards and forwards and never achieving anything. As defined by rain. So. Another tank there. I think I left that specifically for me to be able to put pump there, which is completely unpowered. 
There we go. This is pretty easily set. So we can just say, you can say fluid specifically, or you can just say anything, uh oh, greater than 500. So now this won't crack as long as there's not enough heavy oil. That was quite a lot of biters. That's an itchy ear. Hey, Thorin, how you doing? So yeah, now it's all being dedicated to lubricant. And then we're going to delete that. Moose in the factory? You don't want that, do you now? Meese. Meese. Is the plural of moose is meese? They can do some damage either way. So, what I can do is copy, paste, wire, there. And so this will work with, straight away work with light oil. So you don't need to program it individually. So that anything means anything that's in the tank. There can only be one thing in the tank. So whatever it is, just make it go. These things presumably are backed up. Yeah, I'm sure I'm guess. Need steel, of course, it is. Everything. Hello. Seeing which ones. Seeing where they line up with my choice. Mine. Not gonna lie. Like, not gonna try and sound a little bit. Um. um Words are too hard early in the morning, but I, I suspect mine is mine are vastly superior to everyone else's. Words are hard the first thing in the morning. It's not even nine o'clock yet. A little bit presumptuous, a little bit. It's a wakcha. It's one of their matcha things. Oh yeah, I can just do it that way. Fast what? Oh, <laughs> that's dumb. That was a dumb. I did a smart. Uh, right. Hopefully, I oh. Uh, can't make you. Can make these, however. <laughs> Girl got drummed. Yep, totally rigged. Now back on the squirrel squirrel treadmill. Back over here. Again. Uh just so I can forget entirely forget why I came over here. I think it was gears. Oop, that's electric mining drive. I probably don't need more of those. Got a, a fair inventory full already. Steel. Probably red circus this time. Yep. Uh, right. Plowing through these. Oh, you're a purple tech. So, you. How is blue science looking? I just threw down this massive chain, yeah. I threw down this massive chain and rain for the 18 months. How are you doing? Thank you for that. Um, how long was it? 18 month resub. There's some love and hyper chat there for rain. Throwing down that. Talking about you before. Why? Oh. Ooh. Oh, you know. Science production works better if you actually give it the inserters to work. An output, would you believe? Oh, 
Well, you want to know a good one is the ha ha holidays, um, the the happy ball, and then there's a sweat one as well. Just chain those together. I'm probably going to regret saying that now. But I imagine it's going to be pretty hilarious to hear. Yeah, that's the one. I'm actually surprised those are still still around, because I thought those were seasonal. That's the ticket. Alright, bot's on the way. Bot's uh, slowly on the way. Gonna try it? Uh, I mean, just encouraging ter terrible things now. Hey, no face. Drop it in with that fellow. Oh, need two more. I hear noises. It's one that I see fairly frequently in other channels. Oh look, it's actually managed to replace all most of the solar fuel already as is. Pretty good. And you're in the way, damn it. I just sneak under there? Yep, sure. <laughs> sure, why not? Why wouldn't I be able to sneak under there like that? Actually, coming around here would be smarter. Oh, there's more noises. There you go. <laughs> uh, like Jam of the Three Month. Now you know. And lab research speed. More faster labs, damn it. I think I will change. <laughs> also, thank you, Watcher, uh, for that. It was most enlightening. A tank. Like that. Um, and then a palm. Ooh. I'll attach it to the tank though. Sure. This is how spaghetti is formed. And this is why you give yourself lots of room to make changes. That way when the spaghetti forms it's not too terrible. Uh, just like that one. You're going to do that. Only I'm going to make you 5,000. Because I don't really want it running. Unless it really has to. This thing's probably going to be running pretty hard now. Lubricant's full, so that thing's over 500. This is how mixed pipes. This is how mixed pipes are formed, or at least they would be if you still could make mixed pipes. You're still suffering, biters. Yeti is pretty delicious. The future problems are born. This so keeps me employed. I 
I think I should, should split both reasonably. Admittedly, if this one picks up, it should be okay. Just have to try and do it. I know they did relax the, the requirements. Alright, now that that's dealt with, so we're not dependent on coal for power anymore, which significantly decreases their, their coal. The consumption's now 260-ish a minute. What's the one hour? So yeah, we're at 900 down to 200. So you killed it by... Was that 900? Nearly a thousand? 800-ish? 700-ish? It's a lot. A pink demand there. Let's drop down. Happy um, birthday, future men. Hey, Dev. Miss mixed food wagons. That were kind of cool, but I can see why I got rid of them. There was a lot of complications with them. <sighs> the trouble is, though, at the same time, having the three different compartments was like the selling point of the wagon. It was the key feature of them. Ooh, I'm actually using up all of the reds. I'm using them fast as I'm making them. To craft speed? It's craft speed, yeah. Oh, three thrown down that follow two. I might as well make these the same length. Yeah. Or faster time, I say. You know what else it's time for is... I mean, I could do more copper, but I'm not going to. Uh, let's do the next lot of science packs. And at some point, I'm going to need to extend these. What am I going to do with this? I need to build smelters just to build circuits. I've kind of walled myself in because I didn't really plan <laughs> the pace out. How am I going to deal with that? Wonder, I wonder. Because I only need like one, like this, this smelting here can, can do the base on its own fine. No spidey koala monster mod yet? Not yet. <laughs> the Spidertron, which is just a giant koala with spider legs. Hmm. Hmm. What I was thinking was just extend some smelters down and then do direct copper boosters. I could do them further down, even. Like right down there. Oh, the stuff getting in the way, though. Uh, I do need to round up more copper. I do need to round up more coal. Eventually, I'm going to need to round up more stone. These are all future me problems. Uran you want 0.6 million uranium, right? I should have turned those down. I didn't. I should have. Uh, I'm going to want legs. I'm basically bottlenecked on science now. Right, utility. You need blue circuits and low density. Stuff in the way spots work. It is bots work, isn't it? What I could do is move, like, the labs. I can get rid of green circuits from this entire setup. And, in fact, I might do that. You know what? Let's just do it. While I'm at it. Kill off those. Uh, grab that. Grab these. Bunch of imagine army with wilder heads. I, I I actually wouldn't mind seeing that. I, I really wouldn't mind seeing that. Because apart from anything else, it would be hilarious. 
hilariously scary. I think part of it too is most of these researchers are actually pretty fast ones, like 15, 20 to 30 seconds. Whereas I'm sort of geared up more towards 60, 60 second researchers. Ah, uh, yep, yeah, there it is. So in theory, one, two, three, four, and that's just circuits. AI error is intentional until fixed. Oh dear. Or is that all errors intentional until fixed? There we go. I might need to change that to copper. Yeah, just make this like cir green circus, then I could do more down below, which does. Um... MKB? I confuse all now. Oh, keyboard. <laughs> uh, we got there in the end. I probably should give him more speed, you know. Like that. Look at it go. What do you need? You need lots of red stone and brick. B, how you doing? Hank, how you doing? Good yeah, morning. Done watching a play with Colonel Will. Uh, what was I doing with Colonel Will last? I try. I can't even remember now. Or, gotta have more. Always more. The last week or two? I really can't remember. The problem is I've been playing Among Us with Ica lately. Um, so I can't remember anything. Hi. Yeah, so if he's doing, if Ica's doing Among Us, there, there's a chance I might be there. He's been doing some with um, other streamer people yeah, that he gets pulled. Uh, like, there's a group that he, if he's doing the community ones, I'm usually there. If he's doing, if he's invited into a bigger group, then then I miss out. I think I was doing that Sunday. Uh, that one. All right, I can't do any more of them. I can do these things. Shield. We're getting into. Leaning into behemoth, ter not behemoth, big territory by the territory. So I want to. Well, I don't think we're quite there yet. What is on T? Nothing. I just moved it over a key because I kept pressing. Uh, when I go to press R, I kept pressing T, and I got sick of it. So I changed it to Y. Because I'm like clumsy fingers. Clumsy fingers, tangled cords. Brain breaking tech icon now looks nice. More evil and deadly. It does, doesn't it? Uh, now. Those need the blues. I just generally need blues, I think. So, what I was thinking of doing was moving Circus over to here, doing several of these, and then feeding them into dedicated uh, reds and blue builds as well. Best is when you move your hand over the key accent and you. 
<laughs> God damn it. <laughs> uh, I see what you did there. Take transmission. Uh... <laughs> Alright, squirrel projects aside... Gotta bring some acid over. I want to start producing a little bit of blue circuits just on the side. Well, the sheep throws down gifted subs. Thank you much for those gifted subs there, uh, the sheep. I wonder if it is worth doing the switch integration, because the exterminator has it all the time now. And I think um, Nilhouse does too. And more bloopy things and noises. I'm not quite sure what that said, but thank you for that follow there. Coming on in. Also overdue for sorting out um, some more tutorial -y videos. Reminds me, speaking of um, Exterminator and Nealaus, I need to get in on the game. I've been, I keep saying I've been slacking on it for, for the longest time. Never do anything about it. It's surrounded by a hundred fish. That goes to play through. Pretty so far, so good. What do you get on extermination? Every sub he eats every something. Um, that's the one where it spawns trees and crap. It's um, care packages and things like sporting trees. I think um, it also spawns a train which he has to dodge that goes across the screen. I might make a start on that. Uh, what else was I after? Little projects. God damn it. No. No. <laughs> Don't get distracted. Bad. JD does it best. What is it? What does JD do? Pops a cigarette. Every time you redeem channel points. Hey, his name. We have to watch. No, missed out, unfortunately. Uh, it'd be like Clown Town. In that case. Might have, might have put those in the way. Um, clowns ramped up the the um, the effect to so now that basically everything's nukes. Beautiful lunch. Ah, oh, I missed it. Yeah, I slipped right through it. Oh, actually, that reminds me. I completely forgot. Hey, Penguin. How you doing? Yeah, that reminds me. Um, what's the word with NVIDIA? Now that the 30 series should be should have been revealed. Um, I'm kind of curious. Wait, you're supposed to be there. I think. Very fast. 
3090. So it's definitely triple slot. Because there's been a, like because the the rumor mill's been working overdrive. The the accidentally on purpose leaks. Um, and, and for those who don't know yet, that Nvidia. Is... The way these leaks work is they kind of accidentally on purpose do the leaks. That that that's that's how it works. Why do they do it like that? I really don't know. And then let's go over to oh, the re coming on in with that raiding party. Welcome on everyone. How are you doing? I'm just copy and pasting the same things down over and over again. I'm definitely not making a mess. Bells, how you doing? Someone in my chat asked for you make everything blueprints, so I just sent them all here. Okay, that works. <laughs> how you doing? Oh, now I can't do the... the oh. One of the pipes in the middle of the build with a central belt? Uh, then you need undergrounds. I suppose I could do it with long inserters, actually, come to think of it. That would work, too. Damn, this pop-up thing won't close. Yeah, what are I think I've thrown in that raid. raid. Um, what come on here? I'm starting... In the middle of starting a new mega base and just fighting the early game because I don't practice my early game anymore. Ooh, fire. You can't go without fire. Fire is very important for, for dealing with biters. So just in the middle of... oh. Thanks, bots. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the the bot uprising, uprising, uprising has already begun. Yes, the bot, bot uprising has, has begun. I can, I can, uh, good English. Game over, restart. Yep, rip run, restart. Reroll. We're actually too early in the game to actually th to throw down to make everything yet. That, ah, that turret's, it's holding out. I probably should deal with it, but I'm probably, <laughs> but, I'm, but I'm not going to. Hey, Sergio. How you doing? Welcome in. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Ooh, we got flamethrower. Robotborn. That one turret has really been keeping the team together, hasn't it? It's been, it's been a real team player. There we go. Just wiggle that over a tile, and now we can make the the, the shiny shinies. Speaking of shiny shinies, something else that needs to be made is that into that. Because not productivity in um, blue circuits is like, almost, it's basically a crime. RAM even faster and two bit. All values. Oh, is that? Uh, huh? I'm trying to. I'm trying to brain how that would work. Four, four values of RAM. I think the thirty. Hey, it's laser. Four volt values. Oh, for the RAM. What? Oh. Oh. Oh, he wants... Oh, they're doing some real funky business there. I should have actually been onto the productivity modules a lot earlier. SLC and MLC. I can sort of picture what's going on, but I don't know exactly. Like, I've heard of it before. I just can't think of what it is that they're doing. It would also help if I actually plugged all this in. That would be smart. 
I mean, this thing's technically temporary anyway. Technically. Which means it's permanent. Two hundred and fifty millivolt between the hats and tight. You don't know serious when the voltage is that low. Like the um the guard values must be tiny. Raise the spaghetti. Is it you go there or Hugh go there? Let's clean up the rest of the red greens. Hope that comes with ECC. Zero volt, zero, zero, 250 to 500 is zero, 0.1. Oh, it's almost like an analog signal again. How much has that given me? 10. Did I make these things yet? I really want these things. They take a surprising number of uh, electric engines too. Hey, Sunny Honey Bunny. How you doing? What happened with you go? Uh, it's a, a Biffa plays thing where he says you go there constantly, but then it sort of runs together and sounds like Hugo. build this thing? Yes, we did. Oh, we didn't. Uh, yeah. That would help. Oh, one's crossed. I think Brome isn't here. Never hear the end of it otherwise. Also, I want to see if the new MOBOs come out with, uh, with has less voltage levels required. That would be nice. Less crap. Yeah, the um, it'd be nice to see an end of the 24-pin uh, plug, finally. Like, a lot of that stuff is just... Most of the 24-pin plug isn't even used anymore. Oh, you don't have access to those. There's, like, at least two pins that haven't been used since the mid-2000s. Because... I can I always forget which one it is. It was either minus five or the minus twelve that is only used on the ISA bus. And as soon as ISA disappeared from um from PCs, it was basically redundant. Get some more military going. Most of this research isn't going anywhere though. The mod has an update, automated Hugo's job. Yeah, sad times. Intel bunched it up. Um, from what I've seen of it, it's it's basically the same size. As uh, it's like it's like a twelve pin, I think. It's a ten or twelve pin. But it's basically the same size, and you still need the EPS twelve volts, which now powers the CPU. Uh, as far as I'm aware, the um, the main connector doesn't power the CPU anymore. EPS 12 volt does all that work. I mean, it sounds like something Intel would do. I think that's 11, 16, 17, 18. Nah. No handcrafting circuits. Handcrafting circuits is the devil. You never handcraft circuits.
Care about Intel between AMD and Nvidia buying um, Intel's dead man walk. Intel won't go anywhere in time soon. They're too. They're. I don't want to say because they're too big. Because like. But they are. They are kind of big. It's the same way like IBM. You haven't. You don't really hear of them anymore. But they're not irrelevant. They're still very much a thing. Somehow. That turret's still holding out. Oh, look at that. It's got two hit points left. <laughs> uh, I think it's time to deal with that. Let's give it some... Let's give it some moral support. I mean, some actual support would be good too, but moral support... Um, good as well. And also, don't forget that... The new Ryzen, while really impressive, the... the, the the thing that I have is actually faster than the 3900. Or 3950, whatever it is. It, the, like, this this thing I have is faster than the Ryzen... The Zen 2 Ryzen 9. AX12 volt only. Motherboard do the three would step down instead of the power supply to increase. Idle. Yeah. And so you have to plug in... If you have anything that needs 5.5... So the single-threaded performance of this is noticeably far oh it actually done I should have actually looked for the light bulb the Ryzen's win through multi-threading uh, like the Ryzen 9 what is it 24 cores that's that's how it wins it's just by volume but the 8700k I think even the 7700K is still faster. Intel Cornered Enterprise? Yeah. Yeah, the, um... The good media is exactly right. Uh, Intel win... Like... Where the minority... Like, where we sit, where the minority. The enthusiast market is, is just... It's peanuts. No one cares. Like we're we're so inconsequential compared to the the corporate and server world. Utterly inconsequential. Hundred percent Intel. There's no reason not to. At the end of the day. Unless you're going to be close. <laughs> uh, that was a tragedy, that was. That was a, no, no, not just a tragedy, that was a travesty seeing Clown Town um, shop for a PC by, by um, purchase volume. That was cringy, that was. I won't get into that too much. Yeah, um, if you don't want to, like, Ryzen's, in, or Intel still has the, like, Intel's, the, the, the 10 series still has a hell of, um, a lot of power over the equivalent Ryzen's. Oh, you don't actually reach. That's, that's convenient. Intel has a huge power performance advantage over the Ryzen's. Still doesn't reach. Stupid small power pole. I wish you could burn them still. AMD is trying to get epic, but they're too far behind. So, AMD don't do network as far as. No, they don't. I don't believe they do. All of Intel chips that was larger than the total USA mark. Yeah, like the, the scale of volume for Enterprise is just ridiculous. Main belt needs some belt. Oh, yeah, that's that's kind of important, isn't it? <laughs> well, that's the iron patch almost gone. Um, the ten nanometer. Assuming it actually is ten nanometer. 
That's actually something to keep in mind, is that even though this, like, AMD says they're on, you know, 10 or 7 nanometer, all they need is one, one single transistor to be small, smaller than, um, that, like, it has to meet that, um, that size target for them to call it 7 nanometer process. Or at least this is how I understand it, how they, they how, um, the fabs classify it. And, they all, and the fabs all classify them differently. Yeah, the, the nanometer is actually a load of crap. So as long as at least one transistor is 7 nanometer, then they can say it's a 7 nanometer process. Or at least at least one transistor is 4 nanometer, then they can say it's a 4 nanometer process. Even though one transistor in a bill, out of the 4 billion is 7 nanometer, like the rest of them are like 14, 22, or even bigger. Because not all, not, you can't make all those transistors 10 nanometers. Yeah, one transistor out of seven, several billion. As long as they can say at least one is, they can say it's a seven nanometer process. And that's that's where Indo, Intel... Well, Intel is behind on the lithography, but they're not that far behind, because they, they, they do classify it differently, as far as I understand. The one that's not connected to anything. Because, yeah, like, they've been making four nanometer um, dedicated silicon for, for since 2013, 2014, something like that. Because when crypto mining was big, those were those were pushing some pretty tight, um, pretty tight uh, lithography sizes. Oh, you're missing circuits. How many of these things do I need? Forty, twenty. It's probably because I destroyed them all. And because there's no copper. Launching a rocket today? With a bit of luck, we will. For as long as I don't keep stalling and pissing around. And, and never actually doing anything. Do I, how about I steal some miners? Well, slow, slowing down. They're actually talking about jumping to other... Well, it's been on the cards for a long time. But they're finally uh, going to do it. Jumping onto something other than silicon, because silicon's basically reached the the end of its usefulness. Back to the bad old days, germanium. If it isn't designed quite right, it just goes up in smoke. That's the way you want your electronics. I don't know that for sure. It's but um, but I remember being told that. I bought a 2080 feel kind of sad. See, I wasn't stupid enough to buy a 2080. Make you flavored CPU? Because one of my teachers said that um, one of the first things he, circuits he built was an amplifier, a, which was made out of germanium transistors. And because of the way they work, they go into... If, they, if you get the... Bias currents wrong. Are they going to thermal runaway? <laughs> so he said, turned it on and it immediately just went up in smoke because of thermal because of the thermal runaway. There's actually been discussions in the industry to switch to transistor density instead. The main issue from the previous marketing present. Yeah. It's the pro it's like the um, the PR numbers and the megahertz thing of the of the, the bygone era. Is it, it gives you a single number which where bigger means better. Flop numbers for gaming GPUs, yeah. Yeah, flops um, stopped being relevant a long time ago. I remember uh, back in the 90s, flops was a big deal. Flops? Or IOPS? Everything had to be measured by flops. Because suddenly you're in, it was like, oh, this can do millions of, millions of these a second. This is amazing. <laughs> and you realize that um, like 8-bit microcontrollers can do those numbers now. Like, hang on a minute. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Those will get combined. 
as it combines. That's one, two, three, four. All right. What I'll do is I'll loop these back around. Still market it like that? Oh, of course they would. I think um, a lot of those big established um, finance and marketing for, you know, big business still relies on those terms. Already had a customer for it. Hundred dollars. Losing two fifty on two years, not that bad at all. But I run out then. As long as you don't have people pre purchasing power supplies, like that that's a new level of dumb. Like pre buying power supplies for for the, the thirty ninety. That that that's that that takes a level of stupidity to a to a new level really. It's entirely possible. I'm actually thinking a twenty, a, not twenty, a thirty seventy might be a good idea for an upgrade. I want to see what the numbers look like though, and see what the the non-founders additions look like. Hmm. And the preview just went hits up. Like, there's no reason to need a thirty ninety. Any PS2 been announced that native supports 3090? Well, if the, the NVIDIA 3090 comes with um, an adapter, so oh, I guess I guess that that does exclude it. Yeah, it comes with an adapter, so it's fine. What sort of power am I using? I'm using uh, steam power currently, and we're running off solid fuel with a we transition off transitioned off coal to save on coal. Uh, you really want to do that by mid-game. You want to try and get away from burning coal. Modern tech is incredibly improved overall. To take example, the microcontroller and a cell phone charger is more powerful than the computer used during the Apollo mission. Oh yeah, the, the oh the computer in the Apollo missions. It's mm, it's it's a weird one because it's kind of not really a computer in the same way that we think of it. At least as I understand it, there's a lot of very dedicated circuitry inside it to very specific tasks. It's kind of custom built. It's a custom built computer specifically for that job. More so than a general purpose machine. Still have pre OCZ PC power and cooling. Yeah, and that's um, that's fine. Like, you very rarely need anything more than like a, a seven. Um, like, there is a minimum buy-in, but most computers only use like 300 watts. They've never really gone much beyond it. I think the most uh, the most power drain I've ever had of a PC was my old one, which could get up to 500 watts, which is a lot of power. I wonder if this can actually support the two lanes. I don't know. Let's just paint the builds down. Uh, oh, it's done. Well, I can't do reprocessing, but I can at least start the um, the start the the whole thing going. So 970. Uh, isn't the 970 the one with the split RAM? Oldie 1200, so you're good. 1200, it's like realistically 12, unless you're doing, um, trying to think, like there, there's this, because of the way the, the efficiency certification works, the bigger the power supply, like even though the less you're actually, less load you're actually putting it under, um, it actually gets more efficient, which is where you want, which is why you want to target like at least 650, even though you're never going to use that much power. You really want to hit about 50, 60 percent 
load. Probably not the most efficient part, but at least the uh, the main capacitors can deal with any fluctuations. Whereas if you're running at 80, 90 percent, the power supply is just working hard. It's just going to be working very hard all the time, and, and you'll probably have delete power output problems. Yeah, this is the one with 3.5 gig uh, weirdness. Now, what do I want? I wanted something. I wanted stuff and things and junk. Always steal. Look at the efficiency codes here, so it makes it hard. It makes sense to oversize for your PC. Yeah. From most that I've. Oh. Of course it's taking damage again. Why wouldn't it take damage? People don't know why I always make the comparison, but you don't need a supercomputer to run a rocket. <laughs> At least with the physics level, the physics detail that KSP offers. Yeah, my 500 watt PC, that was with overclock and two water cooled GPUs. Oh, I just ran that into water. <laughs> Oops. Ah, well. Always just bend around corners. And murderize some trees. Uh, where are we at there? I unplugged the thingy. There we go. Let's not bash it into the coal. That wouldn't be smart now, would it? 50% is recommended to avoid dirty input voltage, random... Yeah, effectively. Whatever the transfer was not create a ton of yeah, and that's the other thing too is not just the trans like everything just starts creating a lot of heat. The the switching MOSFETs has to work harder to like there's the, it just puts a, a, neat, a much greater strain on the power supply over like in every way all the components and so on. I think it's time to move away from uh, yellow belt. Finding those sections where the entire base run through one pole. It's fun when you find them um, and accidentally unplug the base in the middle of like a biter raid or something. What happens when you use a power supply not strong enough for the pink usage? Um, you're more likely to have blue screens at the very least. Worst case, it'll just randomly turn off. Uh, the power supply might explode. I've had that happen before from under spec power supplies. I think that was the first time I'd actually encountered that problem. I remember a friend of mine back in the day, he had their... He, he used to insist that um, you didn't need headroom. And um, there was uh, a shunt resistor for something inside it. It burnt out. He sent me a picture. I wonder if I still have that picture. It's just black inside where, um, where it overheated. I think I'm running an 850 watt at the minute. Yeah, you're never going to need anything more than like unless you're doing something really specific. You're never going to need more than eight, uh, than like a 750 to 850. Oh, well, yeah, power supply is always messy. It is messy because having I've also done it before and had the power supply stop working. I have slots? No, I don't. Yeah, I came back here because I was like, I should probably deal with defenses up here. Turns out it was a good idea. 
Spidey the Biter's here. And with his friends. Eating my belt. Like a little asshole that he is. Um, those things. The, the, do the, the pew pews. So give you some radar. I'll make five because I always like having radar on hand. Uh, how's our poopy stinky pollution? What are some good map settings for beginners? Uh... I don't think of anything, because the map generation these days is pretty good, comparatively. Uh, default settings gives you plenty of resources, they're not too spread out. Um, <laughs> Rail World, arguably, it's probably a little bit more advanced. Uh, I'm trying to think. Like, de the defaults can get a little bit overwhelming with the biters these days. Because the like, in the olden day, like in the earlier days of early access Factorio, the biders um, weren't too much of a problem on a default world. Uh, turning off biter expansion helps, like, definitely helps. Um, oh yeah, bigger starting area is a good one, definitely. Yeah, um, default turn off expansion, turn off, um, increase the size of the starting area is a good idea. If or you could just turn off biters entirely if you don't want to don't want to deal with them first off. Um, oh, yeah, that's actually a really... That was actually the point I was leaning into. Like, when I did my first game, I decide, made the decision to put Keep Biders on because I wanted the full experience. I didn't want to... Um, I didn't want to... Um, piecemeal in the experience. I wanted to take the, the full Factorio experience as, the, as it is present, presented at de as default. That way it doesn't skew my ideas of how to play the game. And I actually nearly... I nearly ripped the first game because of Biders. I thought it was a done game and actually abandoned it and then I came back and managed to save it the next day. And I think that actually benefited me. What a Biders off your mod lists. Please, purple group, please don't remind me. Yeah, we all, we're all we all still traumatised by that one. I'm going to play 100 showers in the first minute. Yeah, and that's the other thing too, is if things aren't going right, don't... You don't have to restart. That's, that's the big thing with this game, is that you can just keep on... Like, you can just keep on tweaking and improving things. That's the big sell of this game. Game like Oxygen Not Included, if you don't do something right, you just restart. Or, like, if you don't do something right, the game, basically. The only way to really progress is to restart. Uh, playing without biters just completely makes the game feel so dead. It does. Uh, that's... Depend... That's also where your mileage tends to vary, is this... Uh... Yeah, if if you if you can manage without biters, sure. Everyone's different. That um that does somewhat dampen the game down. Now you need to go in there. <laughs> green water, yeah. I like the green water. Everybody hates goop and biter drops, but whole list of mods adds them back in. I know. I. I it's it's. It begs belief. Yeah, I I like biters because it gives you an extra layer of things to think about. Goop was never fun. Making a plastic farm? Um, no, that's just a dumping ground for items that I didn't want in my inventory. So there's a pistol, there's a heavy armor, and a bunch of plastic which happened to be on my inventory as well. Uh, at some point, I need to craft this thing. Then I can run faster, and then Squirrel Projects becomes less of a problem. 
advantage with the plastic there. So I can do that. There we go. One of them. Get rid of that. Just got to be careful that I don't poop everything out. What if we had goop now with spooters and semi automatable? Uh, the idea of the goop was was fine at the time, but it, it was never a particularly well executed thing. I want some night vision. Uh, oh, can I make that? Oh, no, I can't. I need a low density. I can probably get around that. Okay. Hey, I can run faster. Oh, so good. Spider-tron eggs. Oh yeah, and the thing um, I just remember that the that, um, username said before was that yeah, there's there's literally no point buying a 450 watt power supply. You're actually worse off. That's why you need, it's like 650 to 950, whatever you can get that's reasonably reasonably reputable and good price. Anything in that range, anything more is just beyond or well, even 9, 900 950 is a bit excessive. But again, there's a little bit of leeway there depending on the gold that the um, Efficiency rating. Like a gold, gold, 80 plus gold is going to be better than an 80 plus bronze. And a platinum is going to be better still. But yeah, you want to aim for about 50%, so. You say bets like a 7, 6, even. Oh uh, yeah, 650 is probably fine, but. Been 550 gold, 650 gold for nearly 10 years? Yeah, that's, that's perfectly sensible. 100 watt of RGB LEDs. Um, then you definitely need one of those split rail power supplies. So you you know like um, I think my old power supply had one of those. It was like a dedicated 12 volt for the. It had like four dedicated 12 volt rails, for an eight, which was pretty impressive for an eight um, 850 watt supply. I let go of that one eventually because it was it didn't have any certification. It was predated sort of that um, 80 plus certification. Just actually kind of crazy when you think about it. Oh, the random tickle of uh, slow belt. Can't have that now, can we? Let's turn that. That's when you start getting into special need. Then you start needing like the 900 plus watts into 1200. Can grow bad next to your PC. It's true. I think you can get 15, you can get 1500 watt power supplies as well, can't you? <laughs> oh, that's so a future major problem. That's a lot of um, a lot of bots. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna guard that. It seems like an accident waiting to happen. Right, one, four. Excellent. Lined up the circuits. The other thing I like to do for early game is push towards construction bots. Construction bots save so much time. Worth the upgrade for 27 to 30? Nah. Single generation jump is never worth it. You want to do at least two generation jumps. Need to see the numbers as well to really make a call on that, but, I, but there's very rarely enough to justify an upgrade. S is never big enough, rust drives never enough capacity. Rust drives have sort of reached their, their end game, really. 37 is faster than 2080, but real benchmarks will give better current. Yeah, there's no point committing to anything sight unseen. Like that, that, and it's, what is it, $600? 600 US, which means it's going to be to, um, probably approaching $2,000 here. 
so buying something sight on you know, pushing that sort of money sight unseen is incredibly reckless. Shouldn't do that. Uh oh. It's getting oh. Do you mind? X. Some people, some people do like to be on the bleeding edge. That is true. Uh, what was I doing? I was actually starting to do the wrong one. I want that. I need, I need furnaces. That's the one. Let's forget that. I mean, the... Uh, I always forget it because, admittedly, two, six, uh, because uh, that recipe has changed way too many times. Won't get shipped for another six months. Probably. I if they even bother listing it. Uh, huh. Just stare at it blankly for long enough, eventually it'll make sense. Let's just go Hong Kong. Silly, probably stacks of them. Probably. I know people who do that. I haven't played in so long that playing 1.0 was like the first time you picked up Vector. Everything's so different. All of the recipes are different ratios off. Actually, kind of fun. It's nice to have everything thrown off like that, isn't it? That's why I like Factor Extended. It's um, it throws it off just enough to be a nice experience, without being stupid Bob's Rindathon, stupidathon. Right. Very important to productivity, these. Don't want to be wasting, um... It's the wrong way. Don't want to be wasting precious, expensive things. Uh, be melting sulfur a significant distance. I know, right? I have a 1080, so you pre-order pre -order a 30 series card. I still have, I have a 1070. Original 1070, not even a TI. It's like it's still it's still a good card, but it's it, it is starting to show its age. Um, when I upgraded the monitor, that was when it really started to become a problem. Going from um, um, 1080, to, well, 1200 to um, 2K uh, really uh, took a hit on the frame rate. Well, for this game, yeah, I'm aiming for doubling the size of the old map. Old map being. Old map being. Uh, what was it? 3,600 signs a minute. Steel. Research done. Look at this, I'm running out of research. Landmines, very important. Very important tech right there. Somewhere around here should be brick. There it is. Hmm. 
Very well then. <laughs> uh, spaghetti it is. I'm gonna order the side of spaghetti. As furnaces. 2k, 60 at 144. Not that it makes a difference. Once you go above 90, it's all much of a muchness. Oh. On the underground. Uh, that one. I might need more brick. I need more brick. broken network I have. I was wondering how I was getting the network connection. Yeah, I wonder. Though. Also, the stupid thing stopped working. The um thing that does the stuff. <laughs> oh dear. Really interesting now that laser turrets is a blue tech. It used to be a red green. It certainly changes things. No. Could do. There. Uh Oh, that doesn't do anything. Crap. Oh, this always hurt my brain. I want that thirty ninety but the price the cars. Wait until the numbers come out. Need to see the numbers. Uh, they change anything else about laser turrets? No, other than moving it back in the tech tree. Um, hmm. I mean, there is enough supply because it only gets to there. Two normal undergrounds. Like... Hang on. Do the underground... Emerge... Ah, oh, okay. I'm pretty sure to do what I want to do, like, it needs that. I mean, I could just literally do that. And that would solve the problem. <laughs> Before. I can't remember. I've already forgotten who came in at the beginning and who's come in. I mean, I can get PLDs now at least. User error is a big factor. Speaking of user error, where's the yellow belt? Yeah. There's inevitably a yellow belt somewhere. That's gappy. 
Yeah, it's all maxed out. With the change in ore graphics, it made it a bit harder to actually spot um, where the gaps were. Okay, uh... I can start on those. Don't you worry, you don't have user error, you have future magic problems. <laughs> Not wrong. The old ones and the beacon gra Um, I wasn't a fan of the old beacon graphics, personally. But yeah, the, uh, the new ones don't quite fit the style. Don't quite, they just seem a little out of place. Here I am building in the way <laughs> again. Oops. There. There, actually. Oh, one short. This one's going to be rail. I think I'm still... Yeah, I am. Still off. Maybe there. I need one. Yeah. Item icons. But yeah. There is a degree of change aversion going on. As well. When... When... Like, when a lot of people don't like something, it's more than... It's because it's different than... For any actual reason. And for any, like reason why it's uh yeah change of version when someone says they don't like something good chance it's just that's the reason rather than for any any reason for it then rather than actually being worse Mojo webcam in the upright position. <laughs> I see what you did there. Got one too many as well. I mean, change of version. Don't like it that I turned on the webcam in the first place. Um, those things. I want those things. <laughs> It's because I'm not used to looking for the red green light on the miner. These those miners are actually a nice compromise over the the other new one. These ones are like they they still fit the bill of the old one, but they're not really bulky, dense, and annoying. That bulky look <laughs> just made you always pick up uh, line up everything wrong. For your factorio. Uh, where did I put plate there? Oh boy. <laughs> Not change. Change is bad. The plate of mine is just marked for the extraction. Control Z. It will only try to replace the ones that are left. That works too. Getting eaten. Probably fine. Probably just that again. Is it up there? Oh, it might have been up there actually. Still no big miners at least. Are all my bullet damages up? They are. So the only reason why I don't need to deal with buyers is because the bullet damage is, is up nice and high. Uh, you need to get out of the way. And then go down in there. Does this come on? Eat if it has no face. Um, secret might be out. Hmm. 
There we go. Now you need stone and steel. Let's see if you press the right button. Oh look, you can click and drag. Somehow I'm pretty good at doing that. Oh, also, while I'm at it. Productivity modules, because I've got them. Very important. Pop them in labs. Eh. Time. I haven't been two hours. Oh. I haven't been two hours yet. Alright, that'll slow down science of quite a bit, but it will save on science uh, packs quite a bit. Have those back. Yeah, bad. I don't want them. I don't like them. Carrying on from the, dis the discussion from last time, no, you don't need... Um, don't need the uh yes <laughs> words words are hard don't need um electric furnaces early game <laughs> words are hard It, it was a, it was a crime not to put efficiency modules in blue circuits. Should be first going to cheat sheets. Efficiency? Oh, hey, JD. Yeah, efficiency you don't really need in anything. Productivity goes in. It's a crime not putting them in blue circuits early on because it's free blue circuits. It's twenty greens. <laughs> Might as well make use of it. Yeah, I was a little slow on the productivity into the science. Yeah, it's um, efficiency for miners. Oh yeah, and efficiency just overall if you're on a death world. Oh, I should probably should fix this. I just did kind of eat my my radar. See so what? Well, I'll move it back there. To the point where I should deal with these biters at some point. Did I reduce the size of the patches? I don't remember if I did or not. Yeah, I'm really just scraping the bottom of the barrel here with research. Fruit fly. One banana too long. Yeah, I'm so happy that isn't a thing here for now. God damn it. That'll be spithers. Yeah, that's that's pretty close to um, spider territory. Oh, big sneeze! Rod in lab in the middle column. In the labs that I need to pick up and move, I did too. I can prod these, but it's, it's, they're, they're at least like reds are cheap enough that you can get away with it. Same with greens. I mean, realistically, you probably should, but again, priorities. I already say that you, you can get away with it. Damage. I suppose I could do um, that. Logistic spots. Yeah, only two so far in the car collection. Oops. 
it's funny because I, I went to make one and I was like, you know what, I'm probably going to lose this one, so I might as well make two. Speaking of things to make, I should make explosives at some point. Something one one power pole that powers an entire base. I just don't have to worry about lights anymore. Switch for electric. I see what you did there. I'm a fan of it. <laughs> yeah, furnace is the last place because you get the least out because you only get twenty percent out of it. You get the least bonus. Actually, I might do that at the beginning. There. God damn it. Here comes the stone. None of these, or oh, the, the sticks can be productivity, but that doesn't matter. But uh, yeah, none of these can be, oh, outside of the packs themselves, none of them could. That's kind of annoying. Only kind of annoying, not totally annoying though. Not bar instead of Q, what is man and this is this? I thought you get on everything. I'd like to see prod payback time normalized by some requirement. By amount required. And Zuri did calculate that. I just don't know what the end result is. Uh, what else is needed? Uh, that. We do that yet? <laughs> Might be a little optimistic. But needs some assistance. I sure as hell can't paint building straight lines. Yeah, they are on the way. Kind of idiot put the put those um power poles in the way there. Also, did I mention I'm not very good at painting belts? I might have mentioned that once. So buyers are eating things. There we go. Right, what's keeping the... Oh. That'd be what's keeping it from doing stuff and things. Probably it, it's really... It's... At the end of the day, it's really itself that's to blame. Like it's really working as hard as it can. Need to start turning on these. Green world, I want to paint it. In time. Here, this thing. Let's 
takes 1.5. Mmm, you get saved. Uh, what's the time on this map? Seven hours. Not the fastest run in the in the universe. Oh hey, purple packs are, are actually almost making it to the end of the line. Uh, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to thunk. not it. There's a way to make everything in line. I just can't think what it is. So it's not, there is no sp spoo to run. No. Uh, as such. Down there. Can go there. Oop. <laughs> yeah. I don't actually know how many of these things I need. Could do. If I was smart. I'd take this, copy it. It's that. Paste it here. Hey, it's that cult diggity person thing that does the stuff. Uh, did I just cut power to that? I did. So yeah, now I need to move, uh, move that. The amount I need is yes. Yes, it is. That is exactly correct. Oh, that's a bad sound. Oh, now the turret's down. Do I really need the splitters? Probably don't. I could probably just do... Oh. Shift 3, damn it. I could probably just do that. Actually, that's all bendy there. Quick feeding green circuits? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I would prod mod them. Actually. I could, like, drop it down to there. It makes no difference, other than putting it there. Went wrong again. Try again. Third time's a charm. I think I successfully managed to do a thing. Finally. Now, 
question is, am I willing to go change all these over? No, I'm not. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm not doing that. Oh, then it's not symmetric. You know, it's only temporary anyway. Don't really want to fix it. Now I need chem plants. I mean, I could do that. I, I need to move some belt as well. I need to flip the belt. Yeah, flip the belt. Actually, you can come up here. You can just make explosives directly, can't you? Just needed water, yeah. So I can just be getting up there some pipes here. The hell is that? And boop. And boop. Okay, go on down there, fellow. Welcome on in. How did you ever figure out how to record your videos for YouTube without the webcam? Did you just decide to upload them as is? Um, I just upload as is, but it, um, it is possible to do it without the webcam. I could record it um, using another instance of OBS, or I could use Shadowplay or Fraps or something. Just another capture program. I think Streamlabs OBS uh, gives you that option. Gives you a second uh, the canvas thing. That looks so dumb. Uh, now you just need coal. Oh. Here we go. Streamlabs OBS, you can, yeah, I thought you could do it in Streamlabs OBS. The problem is it requires Streamlabs OBS. I don't like Streamlabs OBS. Um, which again comes down to reasons of um, Clown Town. For those who didn't hear, Clown Town's now involuntarily volunteered for a. It's a GP, it is a GPU hog. Um, Clantown's also now paying $120 for it, for the privilege of Streamlabs OBS. He was using a feature and that got him auto-upgraded to a premium feature. Somehow he made, I'm not entirely sure what he did exactly, but he's now been charged for the, um, for the Streamlabs Gold. Hey, look at all. I think it was the... It was using something which is now a gold feature. And look at all with the six months. Goosey month hype. There's no ha ha bell, ha ha sweat, ha ha bell, ha ha sweat. <laughs> but thank you very much for that look at all. It's months of hype. Much for that. <laughs> Voice just went then. I think I'm, I think I'm saying, telling me it's coffee time. Yeah, it's two hours. Was I control setting? I think I might have been control Zing. All right. I think on that note, now is a good time to take a quick break right here, and then we'll start um, doing some outposting, getting the circuits all built up.
and continue on from there. Hopefully, getting the next science done. I kind of want to get all the sciences done and and towards a rocket by the end of today. 